Hello everyone, my name is PJ or Team America and this is my Shaman Duels Guide and this the deck we're running is very totem focused and I should start off by saying I think Shaman is in the bottom tier and I do not recommend picking it but if you are going to pick it and try and get some wins with it I think this is one of the better ways to try and do it um, we can lock in our decks, we can get our hero power, which is Shamanic Power. Summon a random totem, which is nothing new for Shaman. But if you're overloaded, you summon a non-basic totem. The non-basic totems include, which are already all in the deck, Manatite Totem, Grand Totem Eyesore, Flame Tongue Totem, and Trick Totem. Grand Totem Eyesore, the new totem, at the end of your turn give plus one plus one to all totems in your hand deck and battlefield is incredibly powerful um if this thing can stick for a little bit it's how you win most of the game um we also have the fluctuating totem which can be thing from below the totem goliath can help us get the board um, and yeah let's get going so if you are new to duels how it works is you build your deck Lock it in. Um, I'm doing heroic duel, so it, the prizing works like arena. Uh, you start with 20 health, and it'll go up in increments of 5 up to 40. Then after your first and fifth game, you get offered passive treasures. And after your like first eight, nine games ish, uh, you get offered buckets, three cards that you can add to your deck, and your deck grows as the run goes on. So. Um, but yeah, this is also meant to be somewhat of, like, a warning to people, as I'm illustrating why I recommend not picking sh you but the headmaster requires it you can always withdraw from the competition professor so against hunter devolving missile should be good probably don't want manatee totem stormforge dax can be good we can use it on two and then hero power on three um Probably just, we probably just want to devolve him this. Because otherwise he gets two 4-4s four from it. He used his coin. Such big teeth I have. to get a totem on the board. I, I really don't know what. Um, just play Dilly. No, okay. Feels not great. Like, he's only getting a 3-2 every turn, which isn't, like, the scariest thing in the world. Because I can draw. I 
can help later. Okay, so if this gets popped, Job done. we get a very nice board. This document looks legally binding. That's really big. And one of those is almost definitely, um... Oh, that's so bad. One of those is... crap. Oh, I... I don't think I have a choice. I think I just have to go in, and if it's freezing, we can see. Okay. Um, what death rattles have died? Kindly Grandmother and Twilight. We do have the Vaporize, though. Um, we lost our hero power. So that's not great. I'll show them. I'll show them all! We really needed that for the spell. <laughs> um... Not to be unexpected. Uh, we don't really have a way to win any. You don't pick the walks. Don't distract me. Oh, wait, that might be another, um... Hold on. Or not mail. Uh, it might be another, uh... Okay, I don't know. But we, um... We lost it. There are two drops. Hunt. 
But again, Common struggles. He is crazy. He has something. I can't believe he's true. Here for the tour? We could still trick totem. Get this here, because I don't want this trick totem to evolve. We've already seen a free- it's the first game, so it can't be enough. Totem. That was our last out chat. <laughs> if we had our hero power, things I might be okay. But we don't have it. I know when I and you might say, wow, you felt powerless that game. And yes, you would be right. We played Shaman. Okay, so for our power, we have nothing that helps. Um, we don't have a lot of card draws, so small pouches can be nice. I think we just take Caltrop since we basically have to win the board to win the game. Um, these are both like the tour guide is nice. Uh, Totem Golem's good. Ice Sword is good. If you ever got like two Ice Swords on the board, it's an well. Let's we're our deck is Totem based, so we're gonna stick with it. But yeah, I, I highly do not recommend picking Shaman unless you really love Shaman. It is not that good. It is actively quite bad. But I also understand that some people love Shaman. Okay, so against a Paladin, the Devolving Missiles, again, can be very valuable, like it would have been in the previous matchup. We don't really want to play the trick.
All right, we just we just got a totem going right now. Next turn we'll also have two mana for another super totem. The ice sores are growing. But like we have two eyesores in our deck that are growing. Your tour ends here. Hey. <laughs> um. Hmm. What do we want to do? I might just evolving missiles. You shall not pass. But I mean, killing that just feels good. Unless he buffs. My minion now. Wait, I keep it? When does this switch control? Do try to keep yourselves alive. Okay. So I would like to state how much sense that makes. But our minions are getting quite big. He has an equality as well. Pepe hands. We're still in a solid position. I feel like that's important to point out. This this minion's pretty big. I didn't realize it had been buffed so many times. So yeah, the power of getting two eyesores down early. And we got on the board, we won because we played another tier 4 class in Paladin. So. Which is, if you're gonna play a bad class, getting paired up against other bad classes is important. Hmm. So, Unstable Evolution is an interesting card because if you pair that, if we can get the three wins and you get Cadgar's Scrying Orb, the cost of this goes to zero. And you can play it as many times as the animations let you in a turn. Um, it's also just a pretty solid card on its own. Revolve is also good against um, Hunters and such. So 
So I'm between... Rune Spear is absolutely worthless. So I'm, I'm leaning towards the middle bucket. Because Earthquake just doesn't seem right at all. We are a totem deck through and through at the moment. And we're just we're just trying to get wins. If our goal was to win twelve games or nothing, I think I would take Hexes and Vexes. Because the unstable evolution is a way you can beat the best of them. If you get the um the high roll. But I don't expect to. Yeah, the, the two eyesores are very nice to have. Also, yeah, like, also, uh, Bloodlust can be good if we're able to get a white on the board. You can always which is, a, was very influential. In uh, do I, I don't think I keep the Lightning Storm. Eyesore is nice. Rocket Backpack is really It does make it so, like, all of his one drops are fire. But like almost all is, yeah, like he just loses it. The secret. So this doesn't overload us.
yeah, you face tank that trade into the trick totem. Not face tanking it. If he knew the two eye swords I had in my hand, he would have conceded even faster. But yeah, we went up against the bad... Okay, the bad hunter. We got another win. Every win is a victory. Like, big victory. Big. Um, probably not... I, mean, I don't know. Honestly, we just might want a three mana six because it's a pretty big. Um. Like a four mana four four isn't going to help us win the next game. And so it's not that Deadly Shot is that bad, but it it shuffle it it's not helping us towards our win condition. And it shuffles like a double deadly shot into our deck. Which also doesn't help us towards our win condition. Like we We're basically an aggro deck. Skull and Kobold can potentially get a win out of nothing. Command Stable Evolution and Think From Below is nice. Revolve and Think From Below is nice. Fine, I'll take that. Uh, the middle bucket wasn't cool. But yes, if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure you like, subscribe, and comment with any questions you have. Um... I do my best to answer questions in the comments. You can watch me every day on Twitch when my ISP allows me to stream. And I'm trying to put a video out every day on YouTube. You guys enjoy? Oh, also you, you need to ring the bell so that YouTube knows that you like my contents. Because apparently just clicking the subscribe button doesn't make YouTube think you like it that much. I appreciate you guys just for watching. Alright, we're two and one. We're one, so... Even when um, you're playing a bad class, the most important thing is to get the three win. Because that's... At five games is... Like the halfway point of your win. I'm terribly sorry to fight you, but the headmaster requires it. You can always withdraw from the competition, Professor. Okay. Um. Hopefully, it doesn't get a very good start. As we oh. okay,
So he's almost always gonna have something to play. Okay, we have to devolve everything. And it actually it has to work. Because the hat, like this is just devastating. We we have to devolve both of the minions. Okay. So we devolved them both. Thank you. Thank you. Here's another test. Get the weapon equipped so I can hero power next turn. Here's another test. If he's hero powering this, I don't think I care. Like if Maybe I still- I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's a 2 mana 1-1. One, one. gonna lightning bloom first to give my self a chance at playing two eyesores this turn and we got it I don't think I need to trade into that. I must to the and I, I saw, I saw is pretty good chat. <laughs> not like our, not only did that happen, but I think that our totem goliaths were ten tens, and that's it. That's if he was able to clear our board. <laughs> so, these aren't very inspiring. I don't really love these, but they're okay. Um, like, Totemic Surge, you can pair with Dil Diligent Note Taker. Uh, Alright. But we did it! We got the three wins. The most important mark in a run, because that guarantees us that if we lose the next game and we're three and two, we still get access to the second passive, which you can get things like stargazing and band of bees, and maybe band of bees might not actually be that good, um, because you don't get the basic totems constantly, but still, you can get double time. Um, just, you, you, the, the combo, the broken combos start at five one, or at five games. Also, if you care about rating, you don't lose rating if you get at least three wins. So that's also a benefit to me. I, I feel like I can catch my breath as soon as I get to three wins. It was really nice that we were able to get that second eyesore in the deck. And we also hit the one and four there, so. But even if we didn't hit that one and four, as long as we weren't, as long as we didn't get a trick totem that cleared our board, I think we were in good shape to win. 
But again, we haven't been playing against the top class. Which you won't do every run, which is the only reason why Shaman is somewhat playable. Okay, so this looks like a full mulligan. And we're playing against a real class. I hope you don't mind. I'm winning this whole thing. Ha! The headmaster wouldn't let you research his afternoon snack. I, I'm pretty sure Willow's winning this. Well, we can still fight. And do our best. Long till this turn. Job done. That's that's nice. Just an attempt to contest the board, if nothing else. The attempt has failed. We got Ice Sword. That that's good. That that's actually huge. Cause it it's also difficult for him to clear. Um Deck Tracker is a little bugged right now, so it lets me see that this is Eye of Cthulhu. He has sticky fingers, so it costs four. So he will be able to cast that next. Ah, uh, he can just kill it. Unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, and he just gets to play it for- oh. Oh, that's rough. I'm actually gonna play the Trick Totem to just try and high roll before I play the Ice Sword next. Doesn't- didn't work out. We got two things on the board. Where I actually think we're gonna have to try and stall until uh, Earthquake. And Stable Evolution only works on friendly minions, so there's no cheeky play we could do there. We got a ton, which can buy us another turn, maybe. It's looking very bad. Um, so we'll be taking the damage from this, but everything is two health, which might be okay, because I can play Diligent No Taker and Maelstrom Portal twice to clear the board. Or clear the board except for the much more, but... 
We were not getting rid of that for a while, anyway. I could have tried double devolving as well. I'd like to hold on to the devolving for the Kelmox. Oh my god. I actually have to evolve this because our hand is getting too full. That, that was very hard difficult. I'm sorry. It it all came together too slow. Um, if you're watching this, these are the kinds of things that can happen when um, you're playing Shaman. What, what is that? Maw of Cthune. So there goes my 10-10. But, um... Killmox is coming down. Or not. Oh, this is... That is... That was not the play. We did it! That that was all that we had to do in order to beat... He had a Maw of Cthune to kill the ten ten too. I don't know if that would have been enough, but um... Yeah, like, that's all you have to do if your goal is to... The top class is randomly evolve into a Sorcerer's Apprentice. So I don't actually think we have enough card draw for Book of Wonders to be a great help. I think Caltrops will help us secure the board and snowball more often, which is how we're winning most of our game. So I think the double Caltrops will help us. Group learning is okay, but I think we are all in on our, on our strategy. We do need card draw at some point, most likely. But we're just going to top deck it for now. So yeah, so now our scattered cult traps and our cult traps will work together. So the first minion he plays every turn will have two dam- Well, it'll have one damage dealt to it twice. And then every minion after that will have one damage dealt to it. So yeah, so like, 
If someone plays an Acolyte of Pain as their first minion, they draw two cards. But on the flip side, if they have a Scarlet Crusader in their deck, it's dead if they play it first. Um, but yeah, so this, at 4 and 1, this is, and we low rolled our passives for the most part. Um, it can make it difficult for hunters to use their hero power, but it also makes it so they're playing like a 2 mana 4 4, or if they have double death rattle, they're playing a 2 mana 8 8. So it can it can be a double edged sword in some of the matches. Thanks for following T Sony. But also since we are five games into the run, I will be interacting with my chat more, um, and it will be a little bit less formal of a guide and closer to just how I stream every day. Um, but people have always preferred when I put the entire run on. So. But yeah, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoy, please be sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all that. Okay, so he's got Band of Bees. The, um, the bone web eggs are huge. And you can't devolve him or anything. You just have to kill him. You don't pick the walks. I mean, that's that's a start. I can kill two of them. <laughs> and yeah, the kill traps makes it so he can just play the bone web eggs from his hand. Oh, he was overloaded because of the coin. Okay. Okay, well, it's not gonna help when everything is poisoned that I have a lot of stats, but at least I'll have stats. It is somewhat good news that he can't, like, Penflinger us. Because the Penflinger just dies. Okay, Trick Totem, Maelstrom Portal. Shadow Step was not the play. No, it's not that good. <laughs> it did save itself. Yeah. Um, we do have a Maelstrom Portal in the deck. Didn't I play the Eyesore first? Shouldn't it have gone off first? Mm -hmm. But at least everything has attack on it, so at least stuff dies. So there, there is that positive. If if you're looking for positives, that that's all we got.
I, I want to be able to hero power the turn I totem with Rush. Oh, but I guess it doesn't matter at all, does it? Yeah, it just straight up doesn't matter. He didn't even attack with this yet. Oh, I'm at six? Oh, he did. Okay. Um. Yeah, what do I get? Oh, this is the only way we don't die. Um, there's less damage to my face. Oh, but I can't. Ah. Maelstrom portal. Maelstrom portal. Or lightning storm. Actually quite good. Could you repeat that? I'll write that down. I so I needed the hit exactly here, here, and here, so that he'll only have six damage on board. Oh my god, we were so close, chat! And we were one card away from AoE. I mean we have the Earth shot. Okay, he had it anyway. <laughs> he he had it anyway. <laughs> uh, if I would have um, I I should have just on turn six I should have just played the rush. It was my fault. Because then on turn seven I would have had the AOE and then I would have had AOE again. Um. A lot of that was my fault. Then Timo's okay. But, um, Totem Reflection is probably how we'll win. <sighs> and again, I do not recommend playing Shaman, but if you're going to play it, I think, like, so there are some other builds you might want to try. Like, you could try one that starts with Lightning Storm and Instructor Fireheart, but without Sticky Fingers, Instructor Fireheart isn't as good. With, oh, so Sticky Finger, without Sticky Fingers, reducing cards below one. And I also recommend not queuing in the good classes. Whenever possible. You do not belong here. Time for an expulsion. Ditch the sticker. It's a good card, but I feel like we want to get on the board even further. That lets us. I want to use my coin. My blade be thirsty. Right.
I can Frost Shock and Hero Power still next turn. But yeah, Warrior... Keltrops is... Warriors can use the Keltrops to their advantage. I don't even think that's worth it. Now we're not getting too lucky with our totems, whereas we were getting super lucky before, so... All these totem go. <laughs> At least he can't play the one one. Oh, but he just gets more attack. And we're at one all of a sudden. I just want the taunts. Trick totem! And that's game. Precision. Perfection. But yeah. So, this was my shaman guide, and this is a successful shaman run. Um, we got to four wins, we low rolled our passives. Uh, we got a second Isaur in the deck, which was pretty good. Um, but yeah, again, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Check me out every day, twitch.tv slash Team America, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.